Welcome to Lothar's Guitar School and a tutorial on all of me, chords and melody. And a tutorial on analysis and hints on improvisation is going to follow soon. So let's start playing chords and melody first. Now let's look at the chords and the comping in detail. So the introduction is basically the same as the last two bars. It's C major 7, E flat diminished, D minor 7, G7. The C major 7 is a drop 3 voicing, C, G, B and E. E flat A C G flat D minor seven D F C D and anticipated G F E D a drop three voicing and um, the rhythm is like this one two three four one two three four one two and three four so the last one is syncopated. The song starts with two bars of C major 7, the same we just had, and then two bars of E7. E, G sharp, D, E, basic E7 chord in fifth position. And the rhythm I'm playing is an alternate bass note comping, meaning I play a bass note first, then I hit the chord tone twice, and then move down to another bass note. And remember it's in swing rhythm, it is always in triplet feel. Da da di da da di da da di da. Always on the last triplet of the quarter note you hit the eighth note. Da da di 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 da da. Okay. And then, when I move to the next chord, I play I just hit the on the three the bass note. And then once the chord tones are on the four, I will go to the passing tone. And then on the one, I'm on the next chord. So from here, from the C major seven. On the E7 I do the same thing, except that I go down to the low E, starting from here. And then I line on the A7. For the A7 I hit a well-known bar chord fifth position, bass note the A, skip the A string and then the D, G and B string, the chords. on the A string, go down to the E flat to land on the D minor 7 chord, our well known on the 5th position and there I play root and then the 5th below. up 
again with the D-sharp to the E7 chord. So we play that same E7 as before. Then we now move to the A minor 7, but same 5th position, basic bar chord. Move down now to the D7 3rd position. Don't play a passing tone, because we go to the D minor 7 now. And immediately go down, it's just one bar, and on the G7 we don't go to the 5th, we go to the 3rd to move back to the tonic. So altogether the A section with introduction sounds like this. section, the second 16 bars, are basically the same for the first 8 bars as the beginning. But now we don't go to the E7, we now move to an F triad. And then we use the passing tone, the E. F major triad. F, A, C, F. Now I'm moving to F minor 6. And now a half bar C major. Half bar E minor 7 to our known A7, D minor 7, G7 now in this bar position. So the whole B section sounds like this. And now for the melody. I don't play it as written in the real book. I play it with a few embellishments, a uh, few syncopations, and that makes a lot more sense. It uh, makes the song uh, much more lively. I like to play all of me in the lower octave first. But not like this with open strings, uh, either like this, or in this position which is my favorite, so I can play the triad over three different strings. And that quarter note triplet is uh, very nice and easy to play in uh, swing, because uh, you already have the triplet feel and you play it on the downbeat of the three the first note. The second one is on the third triplet 
And the last one is not on the downbeat of the four. It's one triplet later. It's on the second triplet. And that gives that nice laid back feeling which is typical for the song. One, two. before I like to embellish it a little bit makes the song as long as you play by yourself and you don't have to play unison a lot more lively and then I switch to the higher octave which is actually, when you look at the real book, how it is notated, the octave that the, guitar, that the guitar sounds in. The guitar sounds one octave higher than notated. Same embellishment that I did before. to play uh, octaves at the ending, it makes a strong ending. And that's it for the melody. So this is it for Lothar's Guitar School and a tutorial on all of me, chords and melody. And if you want to practice with a backing trap, there is one listed up. And don't forget to subscribe. So we can see each other soon and I hope you liked it. Take care and bye bye.